monopoly equation, uh, sorry, plane of symmetry. And if x equals 0 works, then there's no surprise that y equals 0 is also going to work. And there's that one there. And finally, the other one to complete that set is obviously z equals 0. Now, there's three already. And now, what I really like about this is that the other ones, the other six, follow a nice symmetrical pattern. So I'm just going to select each of these ones in turn and delete them. Because you can also ask your students what they reckon that the line y equals x would look like in 3D. And again, if the only restriction is that the y coordinate has to be equal to the x coordinate, then you can, the students can kind of understand that if z can be whatever it likes, it's got to extend infinitely in that z axis or in that z plane. So let's have a look at y equals x. So y equals x, and there it goes there, slicing down through the cube. Well, if it slices down that way works, I wonder what the equation will be slicing across that way. Well, again, it's beautiful symmetry, this, because that's just y equals minus x. So there's your two kind of vertical diagonals there. And remember, we can always hit this button to return. So we're up to five already. And then the other four, again, follow a nice pattern. If you've done y equals x and y equals minus x, you can now do y equals z. It's that little slice through there. And you can also do y equals minus z, which is that slice through there. And then your other two, to complete the party, if I just delete those, are going to be your x equals z and your x equals minus z. So it follows a lovely pattern. And that's where your nine planes of symmetry of your cube come from. More work on our lovely cube next week. Hope all's well with everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.